Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you a team build video on the Marsh Shadow and the Soul Valley team. Now, again, this is also, I'm also going to show you how to do competitive build Pokemon without the usage of people telling you that you need to do a, I mean, again, it's yeah, it is time consuming, but if you do it the right way, it wouldn't be that much of a time consuming. So if you know about Festival Plaza, they have Bouncy Houses. Bouncy Houses is supposed to help you able to max out your Eevees. So it's just like, oh, completely max out your Eevees, basically. And if you somehow max out your bounty house to the point of ranking 5, you're able to go all out on maxing EVs. And it is once per per day, it's once per day for maxing out EVs. Uh, so again, saying like, if we, uh, let's see, I'm going to show it right here to you guys. Uh, let's see which one is it. Here's the one. I'm gonna. So, saying right here, I know it's kind of like too big and whatever. So, I'm gonna minimize it a little bit here. I'm gonna just move it over. I'm just gonna move it over. So, basically, it's right here. Basically, this is where the bouncy houses are. So, basically, it's. Supposed to be able to max out your eye, your Eevee, basically. So saying like, if I would have went into Smogon, right? Let's bring up Smogon. Right. So saying how Smogon has their 252 EVs or their four EVs, you're able to do that. You're able to do that, right? You're able to do that with. Uh, with that, with the uh, bouncy house, you're able to do that with the bouncy house. Now, one that's kind of cool, you're able to do something like that with that bouncy house. You're able to do that. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty freaking cool, right? Because you max it out, you you rank the bouncy house to five, so you're able to do whatever you want to max out for a certain set of. EVs. Again, you have the whole bottle caps that max out the IVs for 31 across the board. Um, again, here's the thing. They made it easier for you guys to achieve that if you ever get your Pokemon to level 100. Knowing the fact that I'm out of the frame of my freaking camera, I'm so freaking sorry. But again, like I said, it's one of those things where they kind of make it much easier for you guys, knowing the fact that I'm talking on a new mic. But besides that, they made it much easier. Now, back to the ever the dastardious. Uh, oh my gosh! Click this thing. Okay, so. Back to the team build itself, basically. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So back to the team build itself. Um, again, it's, a, it's on Marshadow and Savali. Let's just say that. The theme is basically based off for these two. It's, help, it's meant to help these things either sleep or be the last final coffin to out kill the rest of the Pokemon in that team or make all the Pokemon fake in that team. So it's based for doubles, singles, and double singles, multi, uh, I will say free for all or royal battles, depending on what it is. Now, again, this is more likely not set to the small gun tier rules. So this is saying you can use one mythical Pokemon. I'm allowing you to use 
a one mystical Pokemon being something like Marshadow, something like uh, Mew or, or Jirachi, something that's mythical, we're gonna allow you to use the mythical Pokemon in that standard. So you're able to use Marshadow. I don't care if it's OP or whatever, you're able to use this Marshadow Pokemon. You cannot use any other legendary other than a mythical Pokemon. So you're using a mythical Pokemon, it has to be something like Marshadow. Again, here's the move sets. And here's the IVs and EVs you already know. Uh, for the same thing for Salt Valley, is I'm running a fairy type. It depends on you, however you want to run the Salt Valley. Uh, again, this is a Salt Valley that I'm gonna have to like reset to try to get it to the glowing nature setup. The one that I feel like I personally want to use so if you want to use a lonely set that's fine because I want to use a lonely set I mean if you don't want to use a lonely set fine but for my competitive usage I want to use a lonely set because I want to make I want to build a pokey sweeper just because so I have a fast physical sweeper and I have a bulky physical sweeper now it's 252 and it's HP and 252 and it's attack and it's special attack is full. The reason why the it's because it's, 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 it's the tri attack. It's tri attack because the tri attack is basically special. That's the reason why. And I have sword sense to set it up. Again, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. And then you have the IVs and EVs in the nature. Same thing with Marshadow, Jolly. And that's another thing I also have to reset for Marshadow is to get the Jolly Set Nature Marsha. Uh, again, uh, the same thing for... Well, this one is more of a breeding concept for... Uh, this is more likely the actual team itself that I'm going to be using the four members here that I decided that I want to use for the team. We have the special uh, set timid nature Gengar with the focus slash we have the hypnosis packs sludge bomb and dream eater i decided to take out the little wisp and put in dream eater so we have even three more moves entirely to use that are special and then a one uh status move and that's hypnosis so I wanted to give more, I wanted to do more with Hypnosis because I know this a lot since I use my other Gengar, I kind of have to help will -O and I'm not really doing that much with will -O So it's good to add the fact that Dream Eater with the hacks is good and then Sludge Bomb. So if you want to use that type of setup, that's cool. Again, here's the EVs and the IVs. Again, don't worry about this here being zero because I usually have it all maxed out. There's no reason to have it zero. It should be all maxed, all maxed. Uh, now the Hydreigon, I've been having a little bit difficult uh, deciding what I want to do with this Hydreigon, but I decided to go with the Choice Scarf item and I could have went with Choice Specs, but I wanted to just go ahead and give it the Choice Scarf, the outspeed. Again, I want to have a fast pacing team here. Not really much of a slow team except for the South Valley. Um, we do have the Dark Paw, Draco, Earthquake, and I mean not Earthquake, but Earth Power plus the Rock Slide. Again, Choice Scarf being a good move for Rock Slide and Dark Paw to gain flinches and it helps better get flinches. From that, that's why I have the Choice Scarf. Uh, Earth Power, depending, and then Draco for again Dragon type. Uh, again, this is gonna be another Timid Set Nature Set, and it's a, a wide mix Pokemon. You could have a mixed Scarf, whatever. It's meant to be a mixed Scarf. Um, 
Again, this is one of those things where it's foreign to the uh, attack. I'm not going to use the attack that much, even though there's only that physical move being rocked. Um, so 252 in special attack and 252 in the speed. Again, overall, that's what it is. 31 IV. Now we're getting into Togekiss as well. We also have the Togekiss that I kind of use most of the time with the Air Slash, Serene Grace, and Choice Scarf. We're gonna also add the Facade, the one move I don't have on my uh, Togekiss. Uh, eventually I'm gonna bring me another Togekiss 4. Also a Sky Attack and the Extreme Speed that it somehow I didn't even know it could even achieve that move, but it achieves the move. So these are the four moves doing with Choice Guard. Now the reason why I have Extreme Speed and Facade is one because of Burn or Paralyze or whatever. So if I put this Pokemon in and eventually someone just used Burn or a paralyzed move to lower the speed of this or use sticky buff but also double that lower speed I could always either get the facade off and then the facade onto a Pokemon by switching back into it or use extreme speed as well depending if I'm just paralyzed overall uh, basically it's that coverage I do have the uh, sky attack for flinching I still have the air slash just because of flinching and then again, it's going to be a jolly set because of the physical moves that I have on here, plus the boosted on the speed, the negative on the special attack. And I think the one move is, I think I don't have any special attack except for the fact that Air Slash being a special attack. Regardless. Then we're going to the Archeops. I kind of still feel like I'm having a problem with naming this Pokemon the right way. We're gonna go ahead and still give it the uh, choice band. I'm gonna eventually name this Pokemon something, but I don't know. We're gonna give it a choice band. We're gonna give it the default just in case of hazards as well. And that's another thing for hazards. Like again, like I said, for uh, something like this, if there's a situation with Sticky Web or whatever, that's a great coverage for this one to be in to place the Remove that entirely. Then we have the physical uh, rock slide. We have the special dragon, uh, dragon breath, and the earthquake for the physical move. It is another mixed setting of an attacker because of the fact that it has 112 special attack and 140 physical attack. And then 110 speed, we still give it the jolly set overall. Knowing the fact that I'm using it for a choice fit set because again this is a very physical mod, it's gonna take things out because it has that 140 base tag. Plus giving me the choice band, it's definitely gonna kill things. It's gonna either earthquake things to death or it's gonna rock slide things to death. It's one of those two. Again, IVs are 31 slot. Again, you know 252, 4, and then 252. So if you guys enjoyed this type of thing where you're just trying to get a mixed team of this and that and if you enjoyed the fact that I have a brand new mic on top of that, that is also cool. Um, you don't really can see the mic at all because it's blending in with the shirt so that's a good thing. It's always a good thing when I have something like that to blend in with the shirt. Um, I'm guessing you could probably still hear the fan. If you don't hear the fan, it's probably because it is blocked out by the music in the background. So that's a good thing. I want to have the music in the background to block out the fan of my computer. Because that's a problem with most of my recording is my fan is the issue in the background of the thing. Now, I can't do anything to fix the other fan, the, the fan that's in the house. Because the fan will kick on eventually and that's going to interrupt the actual whole entire recording. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a fan. It's going to activate. It's not going to, you're probably going to hear, you're probably not going to hear. Um, again, if you want to go ahead and leave your opinion or comment down below on the video as well, you can do that. 
because I would like to hear what you would like to change in your team if you're building this exact same team. What would the changes it will be part of that team? Um, because I will definitely like to know. I would like to hear some comments in my videos about this build up between the two Pokemon, and that'll be great. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and see you guys. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do another video. Uh, or I'm gonna be live streaming, I'm pretty sure, because I'm not live streaming today since I'm doing this video super late at night. It is 10.25, like what, 1.35 a.m. in the morning, so I'm definitely tired. I shouldn't be making a video at all. But I just brainstormed and I needed a video to get done and record it and you know render my outro and intro onto the video my little ad that pops up as well in the video uh you know it's one of those things where i was just like ah i got a great idea let's just do a team builder video on salt valley and my shadow so again it's one of those things i'm not trying to make the video too long because it was just this, 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 this. Depending on what you want to do with it, you can do with it. If you want to change some things, change some things. Not every team is going to be that great. I'm pretty sure my team in, in general is not that great. But, uh, it's one of those things again. It's one of those things again. I explained the fact that you could change the, uh, IVs and the EVs to the full max that you need to have it to on how the rules are set up on there for max this, max that, and so you won't mess up your Pokemon entirely. Um, there's also uh, resetting the nature by resetting the game. You need to do that as well for like Marshadow or the South Valley. There's always that case, you can always breed the other four mons to the natures that you want as well. Still max out the Pokemon to level 100 and then you max out the IVs and then also go ahead and do the whole bouncy house to max out the EV for the certain EVs that you need to be maxing out. So, before I randomly ram on even more, definitely see you guys in the next video or slash live stream bye guys